Hello uh, and welcome to this short webinar on Cements for Concrete. Um, the thing to remember is that uh, cement is an ingredient of concrete, not the only thing within concrete, um, and it's the glue that holds the mix together. Um, uh, and there are various different types of cement that you can have. Um, the one that people, most people know about, which is uh, Portland cement, otherwise known as SEM1, or um, Ordinary Portland cement, OPC, uh, that's the one that uh, used to be the only cement that was available, uh, but now we have um, a SEM1 that can be used in addition with other materials, other cementitious materials. So um, the range of cementitious materials we put, we put in, they're called additions, cement replacements, or um, uh, secondary cementitious materials. Uh, basically, it's, it's, it's various different types of cement, cementitious material that can be put with um, uh, Portland cement in order to give various different properties. But one of the things is that uh, most of the additions that we use are in fact um, uh, waste materials. Um, so we're actually um, helping to uh, take take out of the waste stream um, a whole load of materials um, that would otherwise be sent to landfill or whatever. And you can see from the table here, these are very broad cement types. There are, there are, there are lots of subdivisions of these, um, all in at BS8500, uh, which is the um, uh, a standard for uh, specifying concrete in the UK. Um, so there's a, there's, there's, these are broad um, categories, and they're much much more uh, more detailed categories um, listed in the code. Um, but you can see that you can have up to um, say for SEM 3B GG, uh, GGBS Grand Granulated Blast Furnace Slag. Um, uh, that gives us um, um, uh, can go up to a 80% uh, replacement. But we'll go through some of these other Addition, these additions, and also Portland cement uh, in a moment. So Portland cement, um, it's uh, it's it's what we, as I say, it's what we tend to think of as as cement. Um, it's made from some form of calcium and some form of silica. So it could be limestone or chalk, clay or shale, heated up to a high temperature. Uh, that gives that gives um, a clinker, um, and that clinker is then ground down um, with gypsum added to it. Some other bits can be added to it at that point as well, but mostly it's, it's, um, it's clinker and gypsum added, with, um, added to it in order to make Portland cement. Uh, and it's the sort of you know, one of the building blocks of, um, of, the, uh, of, 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 of construction really. Um, one of the main additions that we use in this country is GGPS, ground grain litter blast feather slag. It is a waste product. It comes from the um, uh, iron um, industry, iron and steel industry. Um, um, a lot of the, um, uh, the cement that uh, this is used in the UK has got a, um, a GGBS as an addition. Um, you can go, as I say, you go up to 80% uh, replacement of port cement. Um, one of the benefits of uh, G putting GGBS in the uh, in the mix in the cement mix is that um, it gives you, uh, in the concrete, it gives, you know, gives uh, a lower uh, early age temperature so that you've got big pores um, with large amounts of concrete, which, which, which gives, it quite high, gives it quite high heat of hydration, then this will um, have a lower heat of hydration and you won't get quite so much cracking. Um, and, but it does give you a lower early, early strength gain um, and particularly this is in, in, in winters, um, where it'll, it slows down quite a lot, the, the, that uh, chemical reaction that's, that's, that's formed. Um, and therefore, um, these higher additions, uh, um, replacements uh, at 80%, you probably won't, you don't want to use when you're doing um, uh, areas that need to be uh, stri stripped and, and the format needs to be stripped early. Um, uh, up to about 40% shouldn't be any impact to striking terms of formwork, uh, but above that it may be, and in low in, in low temperatures it may be 
a, a, a concern. Um, the other main one that we have is, is fly ash, which is, uh, comes from the cold, uh, coal fired power stations. Um, it is basically, it is the ash that you get at the bottom. Um, uh, you get the, the, it, uh, the, um, the fly ash is actually quite, uh, when looked at microscopically, you can see that it's sort of yeah, very rounded, which improves the workability. It also improves durability, so both GGBS and fly ash can be used um, as part of the sulfate resisting, uh, sulfate resisting concrete. Um, you can't have quite so much um, uh, replacement uh, value, so you can only get up to about 55% with fly ash. Um, uh, and again, it reduces the, the um, early age temperature rise and slower, slows the early age strength gain. But again, about 35, 35 to 40%, there shouldn't be any impact on the striking times of the formwork. Again, um, a lower temperature in, you know, in colder weather, it will, it will go off slower. Um, another one that we have uh, is silica fume. Silica fume is a, another waste product, um, a byproduct of the silicon manufacture. It's extremely fine. We have 2 million particles of silica fume for every particle of uh, cement. So you get really dense packed concrete from using silica fume. You tend not to have very much uh, replacement, so up to about 10% replacement is what's um, uh, uh, used. And it, because it gives a really dense concrete, it's really good in, high, in aggressive um, for environmental conditions and, and if you want high strength concrete, uh, but it's not so good for fire spalling. Um, so be aware of that if you're using silica fume uh, concretes in um, it, where you might have fire. Um, there are methods to uh, prevent the prob that problem, but um, you need to be aware of it. Um, limestone fines, this is not a byproduct, but it's actually limestone that's been ground to give, uh, give a fine powder. Um, it can be used as an addition on its own or can be used with other additions. Um, uh, and uh, it's typically about 20% replacement. Um, if you use uh, uh, limestone fines with other additions, you make a ternary cement, um, and uh, so these are um, uh, Portland cement, GGBS and limestone, Portland cement, GG, uh, um, fly ash and limestone. Those ones um, are now included in BS8500. The latest edition from 2019 has got this allowed in. Um, you can't use it for some um, uh, uh, exposure classes. Um, so, so the, the higher the higher ranges for um, uh, sulfates in the ground or for freeze thaw, uh, although there's work being done at the moment to see whether this this um, a limit can be relaxed. Um, the uh, uh, latest addition to to 8500 also allows the use of what's known as pozzolans, uh, and these are effectively like um, uh, volcanic ash. Um, but uh, there are other ones as well. So there's natural pozzolana, natural calcine pozzolana, and pozzolanic cement, all of which can be used to be with uh, BS8500 now. Um, I talked about the stroke, uh, stroke development, and this is quite a useful uh, graph to show how much you get, um, how much strength gain you get over time for the different types of cement. Concrete's made these different types of cement, um, uh, and the, the fastest setting one is same one, uh, the Portland cement, uh, but um, it, it and it doesn't gain a huge amount of strength after 28 days, which is our standard timing um, for the strength gain check. Um, but other ones will gain gain strength um, after 28 days, up to sort of 40% or something more than what you had at 28 days. So you might think about um, specifying not at 28 days, but at 56 days or 90 days um, uh, for the strength um, check. Um, uh, it, 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 is, it is possible to do that and, and may be useful for your, for your project. Um, and then just finally to say that this is good, there's, there's more information to be av that's available in our Specifying Sustainable Concrete book. The, um, uh, uh, one of the um, 
uh, pages is on um, cements and gives you much more information about the different types of cements and uh, how to how to use it. Um, and of course, uh, it's worth looking at uh, BSA 500 to give you more information. Thank you much. I hope you found this useful. Um, uh, and we have uh, other uh, short webinars on other aspects of specifying concrete. Thank you very much. Bye.